Okay, you guys. You see this hook? It comes down and attaches. And this hook on that tree that I measured the other day. Uh, I don't know. I just tried out the selfie stick, babe, but like it doesn't um, it doesn't work. I mean I'm supposed to hold the phone. I'm not sure if they're recording. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. The battery. The battery. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know, wait till you get something pretty to look at. Get a selfie stick and everything. Get it all ready to go. <laughs> battery. Okay, well, part two next week. Tune in next week for the amazing part two of Do 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 Rule. But the base, there's another tree in front of it. So I'm trying to set the camera up over here. And then I'm going to go over there and measure it. Okay, I just crossed the river from over there. This is the back side of that tree that I was going to measure. And it, like I said, it was about 15 feet across at the bottom. And that's just guessing, but I was pretty close. Hold on. You have to understand something you could cheat with this tree. Because that root is growing out of this tree. So, I mean, if you measure it from that one to that one. It would be huge. Anyway, I just crossed that river, yada yada, that path over there to come over here and measure this thing. Hold on. But it's big. Okay, I said 15 feet from the base. That base on this side to that base on that side. I'm going to go and generally measure it. Hold on. Okay. Look, it was about... You see this? Eight feet towards the center. Whoa. Oh shit, battery. Anyway, about 15 to this side. I mean, you know, come on. If it's, I meant like literally that side of the tree. Anyway, whatever. Holy shit, did you see a tree just fell over there? No shit, like timber status. Okay, maybe it's more dangerous here than you think. Uh,. That would have been interesting to record. There's a river down there of water. I gotta go treacherous back across. My battery's low. Probably won't get any of that shit, but I'll try. Bye. There's that tree that I measured. That's where I have to go up and then there and then I go all the path 
over to where the camera was. She's sitting back there somewhere. Uh, uh, right, what? Was I gone too long? We were gone a minute. Hey, I'm back. Uh, that was across the river. What? Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? You said four men walked by me. It was terrifying. Right. I mean, not really. It sounded good. I'm just kidding. You see it from over here? Not so, a little bit. You can if you lean over. There's that tree. <laughs> Which is pretty big. Anyway, the significance of those hooks, Native American antler traps, I believe. Hold on. It's like a hook branch. Anyway, I, I came back to the river. Because I was watching the video, and uh, yeah, I noticed that the branches in the other video, and other than it being ginormously, incredibly cool down here, this is the back side of that tree. Those branches, I showed you before, right? Comes down and turns and does a hook. Yeah, and that's like an elk hook or an antler hook. For elk, I think, or moose. But that tree still apparently grow like that. I mean, you look into the whole Native American thing. But that tree is literally an artifact. That is a Native American trap. And it's kind of a historic tree, literally. I mean, I don't know if it's documented or anything. But that, that to, in my opinion, that's what that is. Um, it's at the base from about there to about here. It is an easy 15 feet, man. It's a monster tree. But it, it's a predator. It'll eat. I mean, if you're a moose with like a rack, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Moose stuck in tree. It's freaking huge. Look at this. Anyway, it is a clover, legitimately an actual clover. Ah. No, I, I just have the Deadpool hands. You know, where, yeah.
Oh shit, battery. Anyway, that's... Ah, the escape attempt. Number two. I'm kidding. I didn't think so. I'm kidding. You. <laughs> Did you see me over it's there? Okay. <sighs> Bye. How are you doing?